Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Excellent. Metros is manufacturing for more than 45 years valve test benches. And today we would like to share our experience with you. For this reason, I'm going to show you how to test the butterfly valve on our new BV8500. BV means butterfly valves. 80 means 80 tons maximum clamping force to hold the valve in position during the test. And 500 means a maximum working diameter of 500 millimeters, DN 500 or 20 inch. The smallest valve which can be tested on this test bench is 2 inch or DN 50. And from this diameter up to DN 350 or 14 inch, I can test with a maximum water test pressure of 60 bar. The biggest diameter, 20 inch or DN 500, can be tested with 30 bar. There's no risk that I could overload the test bench if I don't pay attention to the maximum test pressure. Because as soon we arrive to the limit force of 80 tons, the test bench will stop automatically. On this test bench, we can test with low pressure air on one side and with high pressure water from the other side. Furthermore, this test bench is equipped with a pressure limiting gauge. Means I can adjust at which pressure the test bench should stop when I open the needle valve for water but even so also for gas test. We are using an hydraulic system to clamp the valve on this test bench. I can open or close the clamping and I can adjust the clamping force here with my pressure regulator according to the valve diameter and the required test pressure. As bigger the valve diameter will be and as higher the test pressure is going to be, as bigger must be also the pressure for my hydraulic clamping. To ensure the safety of the operator, the clamping is going to be realized by a two-hand operating. In this way, we can ensure that the operator will not put his hand in between the hydraulic clamping. For clamping a valve onto the clamping table of this test bench, you simply need place the butterfly valve onto the lower ceiling plate, swivel it underneath the clamping bar until it is in the center, the same thing with the upper ceiling plate and now you can lower via the hydraulic clamping and the two-hand operation the upper ceiling plate downward onto the valve. For performing a seat leakage test on this butterfly valve, I should close the butterfly valve firmly. And now, with the pressure regulator on the low pressure air test side, I can adjust at which pressure I would like to perform now my seat leakage test with air. If I open the needle valve here, I will increase the test pressure accordingly. The warning lamp is showing me that the valve is under pressure now and the clamping system is interlocked, means now I can't open anymore the hydraulic clamping station. And now I can identify on our integrated bubble counter if there's a leakage or not. So in our case, nearly no bubbles are coming, means it's sealing properly. As soon as the test time is over, I can release the pressure from the butterfly valve with my needle valve in the center. The signal lamp will switch off and now I'm also able to open the clamping.
For loading bigger valve diameters, you should swivel the lower ceiling plate completely open and the upper one backward. Of course, for easy access, you can also open more the clamping table. Now I can swivel the plate into the center underneath my clamping bar, swivel the top ceiling plate also into the same position and close the clamping via my hydraulic two-hand operated clamping device. If I want to perform a seat leakage test as well, I should close the valve firmly. Now I open again my needle valve for the low pressure air. The warning light is on and the test gauge is going to show me the three and a half bar air pressure. And I will see on my bubble counter if there's a leakage or not. You always should wait a little while until the bubbles are stabilized. Because what you must imagine is the big diameter on the butterfly valve will allow to have a certain movement. And as I'm going to increase the pressure underneath the ceiling plate, it will push a little bit the air in the top of the valve upward, which is going to be seen as well on our bubble counter. So wait a little bit, at least half a minute, one minute, and then you can start counting the bubbles per minute. If you're going to detect the seat leakage on the butterfly valve, you are also able to perform a visual seat leakage test with this BV8500. For this purpose, you need to release the test pressure. Then we are going to open slightly the clamping. Swivel the top ceiling plate backward to the maximum. And now I'm going to clamp the head beam against the valve, which allows me to have a free view into the ceiling area. Now I put some additional water into the ceiling area. Open again the needle valve for the air test. And wait until I have reached my test pressure of three and a half bar. The open head beam allows me now to have a look into the ceiling area and to find where the seat leakage is located. When the test was successful, you can release the pressure from the system. If you would like to perform now a shell test with water, you should open the butterfly valve and change the ball valve in the top now to filling position. Start the filling pump and wait until you can see the coming the water from the filling hose in the back of the test bench. Turn the ball valve into test position and switch the filling pump off. This butterfly valve DN400 has a nominal working pressure of 24 bar. For this reason we are going to perform the shell test at 1.5 times the nominal pressure means 36 bar. Now I will adjust also my test pressure limiter to 36 bar and if I open now the needle valve for the high pressure water test
The high pressure water pump stops automatically as soon we have reached the 36 bar. If there is no visible pressure drop, this test was also successful. When the shell test is over, I can release the pressure with the needle valve. and open a drain valve to get the water easier and faster out of the valve. The draining water will be guided back through a filter into our two-chamber stainless steel water tank. Our customer, the butterfly valve manufacturer Varex, was so kind to provide us this butterfly valve for this video. In case you should be interested in more information about Varex, please visit their website. The valves we have tested here during this video are soft sealing butterfly valves, means they have an own integrated rubber sealing on the surface. If you would like to test also valves with metallic sealing, you can use these rubber sealing plates and place it in between the clamping table. If you would like to use our BV8500 also for bigger valve diameters or different valve types which don't fit into this clamping table, you can use our so-called external test adapter. For this purpose, you have to close the different valve with blind flanges. And then you can place into the clamping table our external test adapter. Simply place it onto our ceiling plate, where the borehole is to get the pressure in. Swivel the lower table until the test adapter is in the center of the gantry. Do the same for the top ceiling plate. Turn the hose connections to the front and clamp this test adapter instead of a valve. Now you can connect two high pressure hoses to the adapter from one end to the blind flange of the valve on the other hand and so the same with the second hose to the second blind flange of the valve. Please tighten the connections all firmly and now you can test with the external adapter different valves also with the control panel as we did it before in the clamping table. I hope this video was interesting for you. In case of any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Please understand also that this video is not replacing the manual of the machine and be aware always about the safety reglementation in your area and your surrounding. Please stay safe, over and out.